addition to our team yeah. who is going to be. Amber and I are so excited to welcome him on to the team. All right, well, I'm excited to welcome you to your Monday morning. Let's take a look at what you can expect as you head out the door. The vast majority of us are completely dry from rain at 514 on your Monday. We do have some scattered rain, though. Now, I don't want that to scare you. Many of us are still dry. However, if you do live in Limestone County, if you live in northwestern Morgan, and even much of Lawrence County, you have rain in the radar this morning, and you're going to for the next little bit. I'll walk you through what that looks like in just a couple minutes here. What we all have from top to bottom is plenty of cloud cover. 47 degrees and cloudy here in the Rocket City. 40 and cloudy in Fort Payne and 44 over in Haleyville. Now we'll say goodbye to that cloud cover later this afternoon, but at least for now it's ours to keep. Those temperatures though significantly more mild than we've been used to as of late. So leave the gloves at home, leave the scarf at home, but you're still going to want a coat as you head out the door and several of you are going to want an umbrella as well. Now our temperatures will gradually warm as we head through the rest of the morning. Our chance when we're seeing the most rain, that's 7 into 8 o'clock this morning. Morning. By the time we head into later this afternoon, by 10 a.m., we're starting to see less and less rain, more and more sunshine, and temperatures sitting mild and in the upper 40s. So not all bad, just a little bit of rain to get through first thing this morning. Now, most of our systems in the Tennessee Valley, they track east. They come from northeast Mississippi and they push into Georgia. Not so with this one. This is a spinning low pressure system, so it's actually tracking from Sand Mountain west into the shoals. Now, today's rain will remain south of the Tennessee River, but but it continues to build and become more widespread in nature through about 7, 8 a.m. So if you're south of the Tennessee River and east of the corridor, expect to have rain on your commute to work this morning. Add an extra several minutes of time to accommodate for that. The system continues to track south and west and it diminishes as it does so. By about 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, the vast majority of us are dry. So if you live north of the Tennessee River, if you live west of I-65, many of you won't see a drop of rain today. But even those that do by just before lunchtime will have some clearing in the forecast and you can put that umbrella away. Your Monday high temperature 62 degrees with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Absolutely beautiful and well above average. But like Chris and Demetria said, I think we'll take it. It will be essentially a copycat to this weekend. We're staying green with perfect weather on the threat tracker for Tuesday and Wednesday, but I'm tracking a little bit of a midweek warm up. By the time we head into this weekend, I'm tracking a whole lot of rain in the forecast and it is looking to be a washout. So a lot to talk about here in just the next several days. How However, the thing that's different from last week are temperatures. Notice how consistent they are, remaining in the low to mid 60s. Last week we were changing by about 10 degrees every day, but thankfully that's not the case this week. Soak up Monday afternoon, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday while you can. They'll be sunny and beautiful because by the time we get to this weekend, it's a whole lot of rain and it's ours to keep.